As a Swedish person, I love Fika. And as an avid internet user, I love cat photos. <laughs> Now, one day I started thinking, when is the best time to look for either of these things on Slack? Well, Klarna is a data-driven company, so I did the only sensible thing. I downloaded the entire Slack history of Klarna, and I'm here today to share with you some insights that I've gained from that. <laughs> Over the past three years, we've gone from roughly 40,000 Slack messages a week to 40,000 messages a day, bots included, and the number of active users continues to rise, although it dips around Christmas so for some reason. <laughs> Now, please relax. All your secrets are safe. I've had access only to the public channels. And although most communication happens in private channels or direct messages, it's the nearly 2,000 public channels at Klarna where broad discussion happens and where I believe there are lessons to be learned. Now, using my typical tools, mathematics and Python, I've been a software engineer with the AI and automation domain for the past year and a half. Our job is to get vast amounts of data, get a computer to find patterns in that data, and then exploit those patterns for fun and profit. Well, mostly profit. <laughs> Starting small and learning fast, I looked for a connection between the number of Fika posts and the number of employees at Klarna. Simple. But without a clear connection in sight, I realized I had to dig deeper. We seem to love the smooth brand. The difference in spellings between two O's and three O's is roughly similar to the differences in population between Germany and China, almost 20 times larger or more common. Furthermore, we have way more than one emoji for every person on Slack, but just these three at the top make up over a fifth of all reactions, and even counting all the parrot reactions, and there are quite a lot of them, isn't nearly enough to match that. Of the leadership principles, the one we most commonly talk about is courage. And the theme for this week, letting the team shine, is aptly chosen, as it's the least commonly talked about on Slack. <laughs> Using lists of positive and negative keywords, we can, with some accuracy, determine whether a message is positive or negative. Although this is not an exact science, you can give a rough overall estimation. And contrary to popular belief, we are actually happier on Mondays, with a very slight decline over the week. <laughs> Likely, negative stuff is confined to private channels, and public channels are left more positive. They are also used quite often to ask questions, like this one, asking who to contact. <laughs> Every time we have a question and an answer that are reposted, you could say there has been inefficiency in our communication. It's also quite common to have a completely new question and not know where to ask. I think we've all seen Stockholm-specific questions get berated for being in a less specific channel. But finding posts like this is pretty hard because the same questions can be written in many different ways. But this is another use case for AI. Here, each dot is a question that's been asked in the general channel over the past year. Now, using machine learning techniques, we can group and color code questions based not just on how they're written, but on their underlying semantic meaning. And it turns out it's much more common to ask for people or teams, and that we don't care much for time at all, because we use the word cat just as often as asking questions with the word when. <laughs> I also looked at answers, like links to people and channels. And again, in general, Congratulations, uh, Martin, Case, and Felix. You are by far the most popular people on Slack. And the channels that keep getting mentioned over and over again are Atlassian and S46. <laughs> and because channels are written like hashtags like this, there are also plenty of links to channels that don't actually exist, like Toilet, which was, after a long time, created to talk about, well, <laughs> toilets. <laughs> But this is actually the lesson I wish to impart you with. With data, we can actually improve. We can, for example, train a chatbot to answer common questions for us. Now, later, I will post a more detailed report about all of my Slack insights, fittingly, on Slack. And I hope it can inspire you to start thinking about how to organize the use of Slack for efficiency and for making it more pleasant. But who cares about any of that? What about the Fika and the cat photos? Turns out, way more cat photos are posted on Tuesdays, and the most intense Fika period is Thursdays between 1 and 3, so Stockholm people expect me to be there to eat it all. <laughs> Thank you.